from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of DockerCon Live 2020. Brought to you by Docker and its ecosystem partners. Okay, everyone, welcome back. We're in between segments. We just had Sydney from Nginx on, Jenny, Peter. We're getting down to the last stretch. This is our last little segment before we go into the full wrap up where Jenny, you're going to give away the awards. Peter, you're going to give away the awards for the captains, the community. How are you guys feeling? That's right. Um, I'm feeling great. Peter, how about you? Awesome. It's been, it's been fun. Well, Peter, yeah, you're a been... celebrity now, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Why yeah, do you say that, great. John? I don't know. Is there a special tweet we want to show? I think so. Okay. You see that tweet? It says, you're yeah. internet famous, your mom and dad are watching your presentation. Jenny, can you read that? Yeah. Yeah, and to be fair, right? They didn't tweet it. They uh, they watched Peter's session and, and joined and typed in the comments, even though uh, they had to ask if he was speaking English because they didn't understand anything he was saying. <laughs> yeah, I saw in the chat, I saw my dad's name go by and just, hi, Peter. And I thought, wait a minute. And then my wife came in later and said, yeah, your mom and dad are watching your talk. Do we, do we ever stop parenting? I don't, it's hysterical. Well, I had the opposite effect. I was in one of the sessions and I see a great comment. I'm like, who wrote this? It's my son, Alec Furrier. I'm like, son, <laughs> get out of the chat. He said, yeah, it's a yeah. dope. He said it's a dope session. Well, it could have been worse. Did you ask for a better compliment? <laughs> That's fantastic. He went in totally rando. So it was good. It was fun. Yeah, look, it's, it's everywhere. The Cube and DockerCon, what a great, uh, no boundaries. Age, geography, it's been, I'm really blown away guys. I really got to say, I'm super impressed uh, with the community, the content program you put together. It's been so much fun. I learned so much and so appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I, I have to agree. Uh, Amanda Silver said earlier that coding is a team sport and you know, DockerCon is a team sport too. Uh, I have to, take some time to thank all the people uh, that have participated and helped make this event so great. And we'll definitely do it again as we give out the community awards at the end of, uh, I guess, 40 minutes from now. But thank you to the Docker team. Um, many of them have been awake for hours and hours and hours helping engage and have a great time. Thank you to the Cube, you guys have been awesome. The platform is rock, scheduling is next level. Um, and the captains, right? I don't know if anyone's had the chance that's watching to go check out the captain's stream, especially Brett Fisher. He's been on all day and he's been so involved in helping us plan to make sure that this is a conversation and not a large webinar, right? Um, and then our sponsors. We could not have done this without our sponsors. They've been delivering great talks. They're all on demand, uh, except for the one coming up. So make sure to catch those. They all have giveaways as well um, that you can that you can join into. Two more speakers. You've done awesome uh, content and production, and then of course the thoughtfulness of the community. Right. Thank you for bringing it here today around the world. That's awesome. And I would just say the content presentations were really really good. The graphics, the templates but the work that was put into the video and the demos really just next level, as you said. So really just great. I and mean, that makes the conference is the presentation. So those talks were engaging. Um, the comments were awesome. Again, I learned a ton and I love, love when it's dynamic like that. Uh, Peter, you got to be psyched developer relations. Any, any new insights on the, uh, from the devs? Oh, it was great, great talks. Uh, a lot of great, and I was really, really surprised with the chat. The the interaction was tremendous, uh, and I can't believe I used tremendous, but we'll just skip that. Anyways, um, but also check out uh, hashtag DockerCon Jobs if you're looking for a job or if you have openings. Please, please uh, hashtag that in your in your tweets. Um, Want to help the community out as much as possible. There's a ton of work out there. Just got to help connect everybody. Love to be part of that for sure. Yeah, just so you know, in case you missed it, Justin Warren, who was live, said on Live Cube Docker TV that if he gets 500 upvotes on Linux for Docker desktop, I think it was, or was it Hub? Might have been desktop, I think. Desktop. 
he'll yep. triage it out. So oh. there it is. All right, yeah, I hope the time. internet heard that because that's a popular one for sure. Yeah, he was on the record and he leaned in on that too. He said it like that. So he meant <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Any other uh, shout outs? I mean, I thought Brett was great. Um, the, his uh, posse of captains were amazing. Um, good feedback there. I saw some great ch uh, chatter on that. Um, I didn't have a chance to peek into the session because we're hosting these mainstreams, but yeah. what are you hearing on the captains? Uh, tons of knowledge being dropped on that channel for sure. And really great in-depth conversations. They're uh, answering questions, interacting with the audience. Uh, and, you know, a lot of these captains are teachers uh, as their as their day job. And a lot of them have uh, fabulous Docker and Kubernetes content and are running sales right now. So if you do want to learn more, if you like what you heard today, definitely check out Brett's courses are on sale this week for under $10, a huge investment uh, in your future. And then Manning Books is also running a promotion, uh, CTW Docker 20 for 40% off their content and uh, Docker Captain Elton Stoneman, Jeff Nikoloff, uh, they all have content there as well. And then Nigel uh, is, is has a number of training uh, courses and, and books as well to check out. Um, and then the captains are running a charity stream. Awesome. People have been donating all day. It's been awesome. Uh, Docker is gonna make sure that we reach our $10,000 goal they wanted to announce that as well. I noticed Cockroach and Labs had a similar thing for Women for Coding. They had another kind of virtual badge yeah. swipe, so check them out. They're donating cash as well to Women Who Code. That's right. Which is very cool. Um, anything else that we missed? Swag, giveaways? I have one little, um, little comment, a little secret. So I don't know if anybody's caught it yet, Jenny, but if you go back and watch the, the uh, keynote with Scott, there might be a surprise in there, and anybody that finds it first and tweets me might have something for you. So Easter egg in there? Is there something going on there? What's going I on? I don't know. I'm just just saying. Okay. We'll see. All right. Check out the keynote. That was a pro tip right there for everyone's watching. So if you're watching the stream right now as we get into our awesome next segment, which is going to be really one of my favorites, the Children's Cancer Institute. This was not only a moving segment from an impact standpoint, but talking about the people, the interns and young developers really solving a big problem with Docker. This is a really high impact statement so segment, so, so watch it. Guys, thanks so much. We'll see you on the wrap up after this next segment. Of course, there's the catalog of content in the schedule. When it's not streaming, it becomes a catalog. So if you're watching it, check out all the sessions. We'll see you in the wrap up.